and welcome to this week's latest nerd news video. First up, it has been confirmed that Patrick Stewart and Sir Ian McKellen will be returning to the X-Men universe as Professor X and Magneto. And now, it looks like Hugh Jackman is set to return as Wolverine in Days of Future Past. After all, he did have the best cameo of all time when he popped up in First Class. Also, don't forget we saw Rebecca Romaine briefly in First Class too, so odds are she could be returning as well. Watch this space for more news as we get it. Two viral teasers for Pacific Rim have emerged online. The movie, which revolves around the premise of giant aliens invading Earth, and our last line of defence being massive robotic fighting machines, is ticking all the right boxes so far. Overall, the viral teasers remind us of Cloverfield and Godzilla, but we have every faith in director Guillermo del Toro. From the footage shown, the movie really sets out to capture the horror, trauma, and most importantly, the reality of an event like this were to actually happen. Pacific Rim hits on July 12th, 2013. It seems that the return of Lawrence Kasdan to the Star Wars universe is not as clear-cut as it first seemed. Apparently, the Empire Strikes Back scribe is working with Simon Kinberg on separate projects, and not necessarily episodes 8 and 9. While their scripts could turn into official episodes in the main storyline, they could also form the basis for spin-offs focusing on side characters. None of this is official at the moment, but it does give a twist on things and sounds like Disney have big plans in store for our favourite space opera. The only official news we have regarding writers is that Michael Arndt is producing scripts for the new sequel films. James Cameron has confirmed that Avatar 2 and 3 will begin shooting next year. Commenting on the sequels, he said he wanted to make sure the scripts were nailed down, as he didn't want to be writing the movie in post-production, which he ended up doing on the first movie, which led to a lot of scenes being cut out. Flight of the Navigator is set for a remake. The 1986 movie, which is remembered very fondly, tells the story of a young boy taken on an alien ship, an intergalactic zoo of sorts, and returned years later at the exact same age he was whenever he departed. And staying with reboots, it looks like Sci-Fi, which is owned by NBC Universal, is attempting to acquire the rights to the 1995 movie Waterworld. The reason they want the rights is because the movie always gets great viewing figures when it's played on their channel. The movie, starring Kevin Cosner as an aquatic warrior, is considered a flop, but people forget that when it went to home market, it eventually turned a profit. Plans may include a TV series, but nothing is concrete just yet. Finally, we at FTN love a good prank, even a scary one, but surely there's a limit. Take a look at this clip from a Brazilian TV show, where an unsuspecting member of the public is the victim of a gag involving a malfunctioning elevator and the sudden appearance of a ghostly figure of a little girl. There are two immediate problems here, one, the victim could suffer a heart attack, and two, might be prone to lashing out in a fit of panic and end up hurting the little girl. Either way, take a look and let us know your thoughts spooky stuff. Alright, that's it for Nerd News this week. For all these stories and more be sure to check out followingthenerd.com tweet us at nerdfollowing and like us on Facebook. I've been Stephen McCullough and until next time, remember to keep following the nerd. Bye bye. Oh